In this module, we shall introduce parity of permutation and then we shall uh, establish a result on parity of permutations. Let's introduce parity of permutation. The parity of a permutation is said to be even if it can be expressed as product of an even number of transpositions and odd if it can be expressed as a product of an odd number of transpositions. Now let's state the result. The parity of a permutation is even or odd but not both. Now we establish the theorem. We show that for any positive integer n, parity is homomorphism from the symmetric group Sn to the group Z2, where 0 represents even and 1 represents odd. These are alternate names for the equivalence classes 2z and 2z plus 1 take make up the group Z2. There are several ways to define the parity map. They tend to use the group 1 minus 1 with multiplicative notation instead of 0, 1 with additive notation. One way uses linear algebra for the permutation pi. Define a map from Rn to Rn by switching coordinates as follows. L pi x1, x2 up to so on xn is defined as x pi 1, x pi 2 up to so on x pi n. Then L pi represents by uh, by a n by n matrix m pi whose rows are corresponding permutation of the rows of n by n identity matrix. The map that takes the permutation pi to determinant m pi is a homomorphism from Sn to the multiplicative group 1 minus 1. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, in the identity matrix when we interchange two rows, negative sign will become out. If we have interchanged the even number of uh, rows, then uh, we have uh, minus 1 raised to even power. That is, we shall get positive 1. And when we have odd number of uh, rows interchanged in the mat identity matrix, then it means that we have minus 1. Another way uses the action of permutation on the polynomial px1, x2 up to so on xn, which is given by the product xi minus xj, i is less than j. Each permutation changes the sign of P, the polynomial, or leave it alone. This determines the parity. Change sign, odd parity, leave sign, even parity. Uh, if we have uh, x2 minus x1, we shall write it as minus, we shall take the common and uh, x1 minus x2 because uh, i should be less than j and you can see that in such polynomials the negative signs will become out and uh, we it means that we have odd parity and uh, when x1 minus uh, we shall have x1 minus x2 we shall get even parity this is just an example to understand this uh, in this theorem, uh, you have uh, seen that uh, uh, the permutation has either even parity or odd parity. Uh, bo both is not possible. And uh, this is the very useful result. 
and uh, you shall see that uh, the set of all even permutations form a group that is called the alternative alternative group 